Hello everyone. In the last class, we have discussed something uh, casting, narrow casting, wide casting like that. And in today's class, we will discuss about persistent class. Okay. Here I am trying to create something program here. So jersey here. or vice whatever it is right and your sales information so click on create button now do the sales information we can see something here persistent class okay till now we have discussed about usual this is a normal class only Okay, usual ABAP class by default, this area button will select here. And exception class we have checked. Okay, if you want to raise any exception, then we have to go for exception class. And if you want to display something message dynamically, then we can go for the checkbox. Okay, and final class also we have used. If you don't want any inheritance concept for the class, then we have to go for final. Okay, so if we select the final, then inheritance the child class, we cannot create for this class, which is the meaning of this final class, right? We already checked this one, and now with the persistent class. What is the persistent class here? What is the use of this? What's the use of this one? Actually, uh, we will create something class and we will create something object in the program level and we will give something input and we will get something output. Okay, so once we come back outside of that program, local program, so everything will clear here. So whatever we are giving the input to the object or something getting output, whatever it is, these all things will be clear when we, when we come outside of the uh, program. But if you want to save whatever you are giving input to the object those all things i want to save somewhere in our in our sap system then we have to go for persistent service and persistent class okay so if you are giving something input to the object then it will save in the database table uh, in the sap system okay and whenever you want to check like uh, i mean i am giving something customer number so last time what i have given so if you give that customer number same customer number it will pick all the information from the table okay so let me create the class then you can understand it here okay so you can listen something persistent class persistent service like that okay so service persistent service is nothing but just it is the framework okay or it is a layer in between of the program we are creating something program we are creating something object in that program right so just it is the layer in between of program and the database table so we are giving something input to the object in the local program at the time that that uh, input data will save in some table right so the persistent service is the layer in between of this program and the database table, which enables to store attributes of the object. Okay, so whatever we are giving something input or put for the object, those all things will be saved in the database table, right? So this is the this is that layer to pass the data to. Uh, table and retrieve the data, whatever we have saved the data in the database table to the local object. So this is a layer mediator, we can we can spell it. Okay, and the service, I mean a class which will support the uh, persistent service, then that class is called as a persistent class. So not an issue, just create one, one class and then we can understand this one, okay. So we are creating something class means we need, I mean, uh, we have to create something object, right? 
So at that time, we will give something input. It will save in something database table. So we need to create one table also here. Right? First of all, we can see something here public. By default, public section is coming here. Okay? Now, if I select this persistent class, automatically it will change. Let us check that one. So click on persistent class here. Automatically, the class is converting into protected section. Previously, public was there, public section was there, but now it's a protected section. Protected section means whatever the properties we are giving here, we cannot use outside of this class. We have to use here only or subclass like that. Only two ways in this class or subclass. And final is there. Okay, so I'm not creating any final. If we select this one, then we cannot create any subclass like that. Okay, so as of now, I'm uh, deselecting this final. Okay, so just persistent class I have selected. Automatically, it is converted. Uh, automatically, it is converted to protected section. Click on save button. Local object. Okay, so. Uh, whenever I click on save button at that time, automatically some methods are coming here. If uh, the, the name started with if means this method is coming from interface. IF means interface. So click on the interface button here, interface tab here, we can see something IF as for state. Okay, this is the interface. So by using this interface, the methods are coming like this. IF as for state and handle exception, get, int, set so these all things are coming here okay and one more thing click on attributes tab and here nothing is there okay and click on friends here it is showing something ycb sales info okay so one minute Okay, so in the friends tab, it is adding something class YCB underscore uh, sales information. Okay, so the, this is a persistent class, YCL underscore sales information this is a persistent class. And so in place of this YCL system is adding like YCB. Okay, in place of CL, it is adding CB, that's it. And remaining same name. Okay, and adding it in a friends class, right? So copy this name. Okay, this is a persistent class. And system is adding one more class that is YCB. Okay. And same name, sales information. Okay. And this is adding in a friends tab, friend class. YCB sales information, right? So just copy this one and go to the another session here slash o s11 i'm just opening it okay how the uh, how the uh, how the class is generated here okay what is the structure what are the properties are available in this class so i need to open the class and click on display button and we can see something here methods are coming like this okay methods are coming like this and now Click on attributes. So automatically, a few attributes are coming like this. Okay. And click on friends. Nothing is there. Interface. So it is adding a few interfaces here. Okay. It is adding a few interfaces here. And click on properties tab here. And we can see this is the abstract class. Okay, abstract class. Abstract class means we cannot create any object for this class directly.
okay fine i will maintain this is abstract class and we can call it as the base agent class or base class so this is the add abstract and we will call it as the base class or base agent class okay fine fine and come to the attributes here or methods and just check for something methods like create there is a find button find button is there and create persistent okay so we need to create something persistent here means i mean uh, whenever we are creating something object at that time we will give something input right so uh, it will save in the database okay. at that time by using some methods only it will save in the database so the methods like create persistent so just check for it okay so the method is not available fine no issue i mean i did not activate the persistent class just i have click on uh, i mean a create button that's it okay at that time it is showing something ycb sales information is a class in the friend tab okay same that class i have opened in the separate session so this is the abstract class we cannot create any object for this class directly so i am going for one more session here okay so y c a the same name sales information okay so click on display button not getting so first of all copy and paste the name y c b copy paste it here display c a click on display see you it is i mean a uh, system is creating one more class yca sales information and if you click on properties tab you can see the super class name as the ycb okay so this is the base agent class previously i mean in the here we can see this is the persistent class ycl sales information this is a persistent class in this one friends tab ycb sales information class is coming here okay so based on this class sap is creating one more class y c a sales information okay and this is a super class for that one y c b sales information this is a super class you can see the super class name here y c b sales information and this is a private class okay and private class private class means so if we we can create something object for this one but we cannot i mean we cannot use any properties outside of the class means i mean there is no uh, use of creating the object for this one directly means not required there is we cannot create object directly if we create also but there is no use of this one directly this is not possible here okay now i will maintain this one also so yca sales information so so this is the subclass of base class or base agent class okay and this is the private class and we will call it as the actor class okay actor class now come to the methods here also just check that is there any method like create persistent like that no it is not available fine no issue okay the persistent class not activated it just created that's it okay so whenever i am creating the 
persistent class at the time system is creating two more classes Okay, so at the time of creating uh, this persistent class system is automatically generating two classes, one base class and one actor class. Okay, and base class is the abstract class. We cannot create any object for this one directly. And actor class, actor class is a private class. So we cannot uh, create something uh, object directly. And if we create object also, we cannot use the properties of that class. Okay, we cannot use the methods or attributes directly. So, fine. Uh, we have created, I mean, we need to create something table. Okay, because uh, as I told earlier, so if you want to, if you uh, create something object and, uh, and you are calling something uh, method from that object, then you are giving something input. So that input information we have to save somewhere in the table. Right. So the table we need to create first of all, and we need to assign the table to this class, persistent class. So create the table. So I'm giving something uh, why sales order information as a table name, click and create button. Okay, fine. Sales information. Maintenance allowed. Uh, a main DT, they the optional one if you want to take, then you can take it. This one, a main DT. Okay, and the next one, sales information, right? So, VBELN, I am taking. So, VBELN underscore VA. And I'm just taking something, customer number. And the document type, VBT by P, I am taking. And this is also VBT by P. The data element, save it. Active and uh, technical settings is there and uh, APP L0 and zero the size category save. Click on back and activate it. So just warnings, no issue. And fine, I will come back to the persistent class. Okay, I will copy the table name here and I will come back to the persistent class. Okay, now I need to assign the table to this persistent class. So how can we assign? So here, click on go to and persistent representant is there. Click on this one and provide a table name. It just now I have created by sales order information. And now we can see here, whatever the fields are available in this table, those all will come here. Okay, those all will, this all will come here and VBELN just double click on it, then we can see the VBELN is coming here. Okay, and here something up arrow mark is there. If you click on this up arrow mark, this VBELN field will add the main area. So click on this one. See, the field is coming here. And as well as Kunar, click on up arrow mark and VBTVP, click on up arrow mark. Okay, and the first one is coming something green color and the remaining two fields are coming in a blue color. Means this is a key field. VBE and the key field. So, uh, customer number and the document type, these two are in the non key fields. So, the differentiate is uh, coming like some green color and blue color. Okay. Now, click and save button. Click and back. Okay. Here, uh, we can take something standard table also. If you take the standard table, then what will happen? So it may contain some hundreds of uh, hundreds of fields. Then we need to we need to pass all fields to the main area. Okay, so it will be time waste here. So I am just taking something 
custom table. I'm creating the custom table with three columns. And MA and DTP also I have taken, but that is not a mandatory thing we need to take here. System also not considering that field. Okay, because the field will automatically fill. That is why system is not considering that MA and DTP field here. Okay, save it and click on back button and now activate it. Okay, I have assigned the table to this persistent class. Now we need to activate this class. Just activate it and so it is generating something. And here the message when pop up came here. Should the class actor also be activated? Yes, I want to activate that one also. I mean, <clears throat> this is the main class. Okay, this is the main class. This is a persistent class. So based on this class, system is generating two more classes. So YCB sales information and YCA sales information, base agent class and actor class, two classes. Okay. Now come to the, this one, uh, uh, YCB sales information. And now it is adding a few more uh, uh, methods here. Okay, and before that one, just go to the persistent class only and click on the interface nothing attributes and we can see something here attributes bbe ln kunar bbtvp is coming here so how it is coming so in the table how many fields you have taken so with those all fields system will generate the attributes and these are instance and style instance and public okay and click on methods here so previously we saw something, some, I mean, some uh, interface methods only, but now system is adding a few more methods. Okay. So after assigning the table to this class system is generating one, some more methods like get Kunar, get VBELN, get VBTVP and set Kunar and set VBTVP like that. Okay. And get methods and set methods we will call in the general terms get methods will generate for all fields okay so in the table level i'm maintaining something hundreds of uh, fields names so at the time so here also 100 methods will take here okay 100 get methods will take here okay and set methods set methods will assign for non-key field information only Okay, so here get is coming per customer number and VBE and VBTP for three for three fields it is coming here, but for set is coming for only customer number VBTVP for VBE LN is not coming because VBE LN is the primary key field so system will not uh, consider the set method for that key fields. Okay, so fine, and now come to the base agent class and check it the method create persistent is available yes create persistent is available in the from the interface okay from the interface fine this is a base agent class and come to the one more class is there that is the actor class and here check for that one okay Check for that method is available or not. Create persistent or not. Click on OK button. It's not available. Click on back button and come. I mean, open it once again. And now check it. Okay. Create persistent. Click on enter button. Now create persistent is available here. Okay. Create persistent is available and delete persistent is available. Okay, and get persistent is available means. So what is the meaning of this one? So if you want to create something, I mean, uh, you are giving something input to the object, right? At that time, we need to save that one in the database table. It means we are creating something here. And if you want to change that uh, the value in the table level, then change persistent. And if you want to delete the value from the table level, then delete persistent. So that is the meaning of this one here. Okay, and fine. 
have created only one class automatically it is creating two more classes fine now i will go to the program local program and you can come here the, the uh, uh, what is this one actor class right so if you come to the actor class see first one is the single we will call it as the singleton class and the properties is coming like protected okay so we cannot create the object directly here because we cannot use the properties uh, of this class uh, outside of the uh, class okay i mean uh, if you want to use the properties then subclass only will possible here but i am not going for any subclasses only friend class is available for this one and the friend class one uh, one child class is there okay so what i will do i will go for actor class here okay this is the actor class and we can see something here we cannot create the object directly because it is a private class we cannot create the object directly for this one now i will check okay i will check is there any static variable is there or not so all are i mean all are instant attributes some constants are coming see something static attribute is coming here okay so the static attribute uh if we call i mean if we call this uh static attribute from the local program then automatically it will check is there any constructor is available or not okay constructor is available or not so click on the methods here and check for constructor see something class constructor is available this is the static method okay static constructor and if you double click on it here and i mean it is creating something object okay it is creating something object means we cannot create the object directly okay we cannot create the object directly so if we if we uh where is that of attributes see here agent so if we assign or if we assign means we are giving something value to this uh, field but these are read only you can see here the checkbox read only checkbox is there means we cannot pass any value to this agent variable means that is the read only okay so what i will do i will just uh, read this variable that's it okay i will just read this variable or attribute okay then it will give something object see here type reference to is coming here okay type reference to is coming here means it is giving something object okay it is giving something object so let us come to the program so what i will do what is the class name here third ca sales information right <clears throat> there ca information is equal to i mean uh, i am i need to i need to read the variable okay so this is the agent i am just reading this variable from this uh, class because i mean i cannot create any object directly so what is what i am doing here i am just reading this uh, uh agent okay variable or attribute at the time the constructor class constructor is there so it will i mean it will trigger the class constructor will trigger here and inside of that method the class constructor method it is creating something object okay so we need to cache that object into one variable so i will take something obj underscore 
is actor is equal to okay so if we, if we, if i uh, uh read this agent attribute then it will go to the class constructor and it will create the object that object name i am passing into uh, obj underscore actor right so i will uh, declare it data obj actor type ref to jets yca sales information okay how can i say like this okay the object declaration i am not creating any object startup selection okay how can i say this one the data would be the actor okay and type f2 by ca like this and if you come to the class level and we can see the agent here and this is the static attribute and type ref2 y ca sales information means indirectly in the class constructor okay we are creating something object right that the that object the reference the object is this one only this class only y ca sales information only okay so that is why i am declaring something object but i am not creating because we should not create the object directly so uh, i'm just declaring the object and after that one by by reading this variable or attribute i'm getting the at, uh, object name here okay directly i'm not creating but indirectly i'm picking the object name from the class level only fine Fine. Now, I need to create something object here. Or parameters p underscore create data button group m. Okay, this is for creating. This is for deleting. This is for changing. Okay, three radio buttons I'm taking. So creating, deleting, changing like that. I mean, once the data is saved in the database table, then we need to uh, save it. I mean, we need to change it, delete it. Or if it's a new one, then we need to create that one. So for that one, I'm taking here three data buttons here. Okay, fine. Fine, now, first of all, we need to create something, right? So. I mean, create the data in the table level, right? So for that one, what I will do? Already object actor is there, right? So by using this method, uh, object call method, obj actor, okay? Here I'm creating, I mean, I just click the control press space button. It is showing the list of the uh, methods here, okay? So first one is the create persistent is coming. So I'm selecting this one because I want to create the uh, data in the table level, okay? And what is the input output uh, parameters are available for this one? I don't know. So click on control plus space button, shift plus enter button. Now it is coming here, something I underscore BBELN. What is the key field here? That key field we need to pass here, okay? But the key field, key field we need to pass here. So fine. And here something exception is coming. So first of all, let us go to this table, I mean the method here methods and here create object sorry create persistent here create persistent is coming the method is coming like this and now if you double click on it or we can click on this is okay some standard code will come here okay so what are the input or parameters we can see here and click on parameters for this one and we can see something uh, result is coming here okay and this result is telling like 
uh, type reference to YCL sales information means so the persistent class okay persistent class object it is generating the result the result parameter and this is in returning means we can import this one okay and i underscore v b e l n this is the importing parameter this function sorry this class and this method okay this method is importing i underscore v b e l n this is the key field information while saving the data in the database table level then we need to pass the key field information the first thing is that one only so it is asking the i underscore v b e l n is here okay we need to pass the i underscore v b e l n value and return it will give something uh, object for the persistent class okay ycl sales information in the result uh, uh, field okay so i will and it is coming it is uh, exceptions is showing here means it may throw something exception by using this class okay it may throw something exception by using this class so what i will do i will come here the same thing is coming i underscore bbel and we need to pass on receiving okay returning is available in the method level in the while we are calling the method at that time it will come to the receiving okay and receiving i will take one thing so before that one i underscore v b e l n i need to pass something sales order number so i will take something a uh, parameters or parameters p underscore v b e l n type v b e l n underscore v a and i am creating the parameters for other things also P underscore Kunar type Kunar P underscore VBT by P I think this much of length it will not consider so VBT by P okay under customer number also it will not consider this much of length I think See, yes, I will take. Let me check it here. Okay, so this P and square V B E L and I am passing this one here. Okay, I will give something input here and receiving something object. Okay, I will take something object underscore. This is for a persistent class. Okay. OBJ P here I am taking. How can I tell this one? A persistent class. In the method only it is referring. Okay, it is referring to the YCL sales information. This is a persistent class only. So that is why I am creating something. I'm I'm just passing something OBJ underscore P E R. But I will declare this one. So I will declare like this. Okay. So this is the persistent class object. Directly, I am not creating. Just by using the method, automatically it is giving the object name. Indirectly, it is coming here. And catch is coming in a, in a comment means it may throw something exceptions. That is why it is coming like this, right? Now what I will do? I will take the try class block. Try add a catch and end it try. Okay, fine. Okay, I'm just giving something B B E L N. At that time, it is it is uh, uh, giving something object name here. Okay, for the persistent class. First of all, I will call the method from the persistent class. Call method O B J underscore P R and click on Control plus Space button. It will show list of the fields here. I mean list of the methods here. Okay, fine. Now here, uh, 
I need to set something. Uh, I mean, I'm giving something P n square V B E L n, right? I'm passing this V B E L n to the table by using this method automatically by using the create persistent. So the V B E L n, the 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 value will go to the table level. So at that time, I need to pass the uh, other fields information also, like customer number and VBT, VP, like that also I need to pass, right? So for that one, it is showing something set, set PUNAR and set VBT, VP. Okay, so get means it will fetch the data, but I am not getting anything here. Just I am, I am uh, passing because this is a new one. So I will pass it here, set customer, Control plus space button, shift press enter. So automatically, automatically it is uh, it is asking something customer number. Okay, let us open a persistent class here and click on the uh, methods and go to the uh, set punar para, uh, parameters. So here I underscore punar is the importing field. Okay, and exceptions, exception is coming. I mean, if we use this method, maybe exception will come by, by using this class. Okay, and fine. And one more method is there set VBTVP and if we check the parameters here. So for this one also, I underscore VBTVP is coming as importing parameter and exceptions also will, will be there. Okay. And the, for the same thing, get, get Punar is there, but this one also, the, the, for this one, the result is coming here. Okay. The result is coming like Punar. And for VBT by P, get VBT by P. And we can see the result is coming like VBT by P. Okay. So whatever the field we are taking, I mean, in the table level, how many fields we are taking for those all fields, it is creating something methods, right? Something get methods and set methods like that. So for, the, for those methods, the input parameter will be the associated field name. So I underscore punar is coming here. So for this one, I will pass P underscore punar. Okay, P underscore punar and it may raise the exception here. So what I will do, I will, I will use something, try here. Try, see here, try is coming here. Inside of that one, one more try I am taking here. Okay, and catch block is coming here and I will take here and try. I'm not mentioning anything in the catch block. Okay, actually it will work uh, work as it is. Okay, I'm not doing any wrong thing here and uh, I'm not giving something invalid data also here. Okay, so if you want to apply something, you can take something messages or writing something, I mean messages we can display here. By using write statement or messages syntaxes, we can display something messages. Okay, but as of now, I'm not, taking, I'm not considering anything here. Fine. After this one, I'm setting something customer number. Fine. That is okay. And document type also I need to pass. So what I will do call method OBJ PR and click on control plus space set VBT by P control plus space shift plus enter. So VBT by P is coming here. So this is the P underscore VBT by P. I'm just giving in the input parameter. And for this one also catch is coming. So catch means something exception will come here. So for that one, I will give something here, try and catch blocks. Click on pretty printer, fine. So what I'm doing, the starting. So first of all, I'm, uh, I mean, uh, I'm just, uh, calling the variable from the actor class, okay? Agent is the attribute here. I'm just calling this one. So at that time, some 
static constructor will be there it will create something object that object name i am passing into obj actor okay so the obj actor is calling the method create persistent like that at that time i am just giving the vbe ln the, the key field information i am giving here after that one it is giving something object for the persistent class so by using that object i am calling the set non key fields information methods okay now just check it activate it something p and square punar is unknown okay p and square customer and p and square document type check it once again activate it's activated okay now keep the breakpoint here execute the program and i'm giving something uh i mean the sales document number so1 and the customer number is something 1 2 3 and the document type is a inquiry okay now before that one just check the table the data is available or not in this table zero records are available now execute it so before that one a breakpoint i kept right so click an execute button <coughs> now i am just reading this one agent attribute now i am just clicking an f6 button if i don't do like this then what will happen so internally it will go to the class constructor and it will create something object for that one those all things will come here but those all things not required as of now just click an f6 button so double click on this obj actor now we can see here obj actor is a object name for the class is yca sales information automatically system is giving i am not creating it directly just i have declared but i am not creating this object okay now uh, find now call the method create persistent by giving the p underscore bbe ln this is the yes for one is coming click an f6 button i am not going inside of this method okay and it is giving something object name here the object name the reference is the ycl sales information means this is a persistent class okay persistent class object is coming here i am not creating the object directly by by calling the method it is giving the object name okay now what i will do i will set the customer number here okay so p and square customer number okay and p underscore dt okay so after creating this one just check the data is available or not here click a number of entries so zero records only coming okay zero records only coming so what i will do i will go to the program once again so click on back and now here okay here i will give something commit work okay so the for the p and square b b e l n and after that one for this one also for non key field for non key field information also i need to provide something commit work otherwise it will not accept okay this is the mandatory thing here click on pretty printer activate it come to the program so this is the program only right execute the program s o 1 1 2 3 and a click on execute button it will come to the debugging screen so we we'll busy actor so it is giving something object name 
and persistent create persistent it is giving one more object for the persistent class so i am just setting something value here and after that one commit work i am giving now we can see the data is available or not here number of entries one record is available so click on uh, execute button and and we can see the data so1 customer number and a right i will create something yes so2 124 and this is a c okay click on execute button and total i am executing here okay let me check the value here just refresh this just refresh this table so here so2 information also is coming here now this is fine now i want to change something value here in place of c i want to add something b for the record so2 okay so for that one what we need to do for changing so here we are giving something a uh, p and square cr dl and change okay means creating deleting changing like that i am taking here so i need to select the third radio button okay third radio button but the radio button i am not mentioning here so what i will do if p and square cr is equal to x okay then only i want to execute uh, this all things else if p under square dl is equal to x deleting else if p under square ch is equal to x changing end if like on pretty printer check it okay else if incorrect nesting before the statement uh say wait okay any tree is available huh? check it now okay now this is okay fine now save it so if we are creating the new one then uh, uh, this is the information p and the square cr is equal to x then it will come here but now i am not creating any persistent i am changing the persistent right so what i will do now so already object is coming here so by using this object here call method the object name i have mentioned here okay and now uh, it is coming like something so get persistent so first of all i will get the information then i will change it or so here uh, for changing the information first i need to get the data so for that one what i will do so get persistent i will use here okay and click on control plus space shift plus enter automatically it is giving something input and uh, receiving parameters so uh, vbel is equal to p and square vbel only i will give here and receiving it will give something uh object right so obj underscore this is a persistent object i already declared it here and it is giving something exception maybe some exceptions may come here so for that one i will use something try and catch blocks
try and any try and find and here i will check if obj underscore p r okay is bound means is not initial okay so if something uh, value assigned to this uh, obj underscore p r then i need to call method obj p r and I, am, I need to set something value here for the uh, uh, VBT by P, right? VBT by P, shift enter. P underscore VBT by P. Okay. And, and here it is asking something. It is, it is uh, I mean, it may raise something exception, right? So for that one, I will give something try here. And catch block is coming in trade in trade. I need to take here. Click on petty printer. Okay, in the change, if we are doing something change here, so at that time, so first of all, uh, I'm just getting something information here. First of all, we need to get the values available or not right like that so for that one get persistent i am taking i am taking i am passing something vbeln and it is giving something object for the persistent class and after that one i am calling the method from the persistent class set vbtvp and i will set uh, call method obj P R and set customer number. I if you want to change the customer number, then also okay. Control plus shift plus enter and I underscore Kunar is equal to P underscore Kunar. Sorry, P underscore customer. And this is a P underscore DT document type. And for this one also, it is asking something, try and catch blocks. Okay, and I will give you here something commit work. Without commit work, it will not accept. Okay, now save it, check it, activate it. Now the requirement is, for this one, okay, the document type C is coming. For the for this one, I want to change it to B. The sales document number is equal to S42, and this is a 124 is the customer number. I will change that one also. Just execute the program. Keep the breakpoint. Breakpoint is there. So execute the program. And here SO2. For SO2, I am changing the customer number like CUST2. Okay, previously 124 I was taken. But now I'm changing to the customer two on the document type. Previously, I have taken C. And now I'm taking B. And I'm changing the value here. And click on execute button. It will go to the debugging screen. Click on desktop three. So click on F6 button. Object object is coming here. Okay. So object for YCA. YC, this is the actor class. Now click on F6 button. So F6 button. Now I'm changing something here. So for that one, I'm getting something information by using the VBELN. VBEL is equal to SO2. And it is giving something object here, OBJPER. We can see the class name here. YCL sales information. YCL means this is the um, persistent class. Okay. Now click on F5 button. Uh, one more time. I'm setting it here. Okay, I'm modifying the data for uh, document type and the customer name. So click on F6 and F6 and commit work. Okay, without commit work, it will not work. So let me uh, refresh the data in the table level. So here customer number 124 and C, C is there. So click on refresh button. So we can see that data is updated. So customer 2 and B is coming here. Now my requirement is I don't want this one. I want to remove this one. So deleting. Okay, how can we delete this record here?
fine so click on back and one more time so we have taken something radio buttons for creating changing and deleting right so the second one is the deleting so for that one i need to write the logic now okay so for deleting so once again so here i am getting something object here okay in the line of 20 i am great i am getting the object for the uh, actor class Where is the delete? Delete is coming here. Now I will call the method. Call method. And here something delete persistent is there, right? So just double click on it. Click on control plus shift. Control plus shift. Control plus space plus shift plus enter. So VBEL is equal to P and square VBEL. And I am taking here. Okay. And this is coming something tray and catch blocks. Try and catch and in a try. Okay, and commit work. Click on pretty printer. Okay, commit work I am giving and now save it. Check it, activate it. This is activated. Now keep the breakpoint. Breakpoint is there. Click on execute button. Now I want to delete the sales order number two. It's for two. Okay, and I'm selecting the P and score deal. Not required to provide these all things. Just key field information I'm giving. That's it. Okay, click on execute button. P and score deal. I'm selecting the radio button. Click on execute now. It will go to the debugging screen. Click on uh, click on F5 or F6 button. Now just check the object actor here. This is the object is coming for the uh, actor class here. Okay. Now click on F5 button. It will go to the deleting uh, radio button. And now I'm just using the delete persistent here, and I'm giving the something P and square VBEL, and it is completed. Okay, now let us check in the table level that the value is deleting or not. The second record is available here. And click on F6, I mean the refresh button. Okay, refresh. Now the second record S4 is deleting here. Okay, so in this way we can we can uh, uh, use the persistent class. Okay, we can create and delete modify the data from the table level directly. Okay, and the persistent class we can create, I mean, the service will create in the two ways by using the object ID also, GU ID also, but uh, maximum we don't go for GU ID. Just what is the GU ID here? Okay, in the table level, here I'm giving something the key field as the VBELN, right? So if you want to create or change or modify something, deleting something, then what we need to do based on the VBE only we are doing the operations because there's a key field here. Now coming to the object, I mean the something GUID, then what will happen instead of this VBE and GUID, I will take one more one more field here. So that will be the key field and that will maintain by the SAP only. So whenever we create something data at that time, SAP will assign one uh, one uh, one value to the GUID and as usually SO1 and customer number and VBTVP, these three are the non key fields information. And now, how we are doing the, the things like uh, creating, changing, deleting, modifying, like that, right? The same way that one also, just we need to add one more GUID, that's it. But the GUID will maintain by SAP. But most of the times, we, we won't go for that one. So I am not explaining that one. Okay, not required. So if you want to try, then you can try by adding one more column here, the GUID. And the data element you can take like SO underscore GUID, then you can automatically it will come here. Okay, and you can make that one, and you can make that field as a primary field, primary key, and remaining fields will be non-key fields information like that you have to mention. Okay, how we have maintained this one, how we have created a program, the same way you just create for that one also, it will work fine.
Okay, so this is what persistent class and persistent service CO. Okay. And Okay, then, and uh, we will meet in the next class with uh, one more new concept. If you have any doubts, and you can ping me in WhatsApp, or you can comment, or you can send a mail. I will respond in my free time. Okay, then, bye. Jai Hind.